Hello, my name's James. I'm Fliss. I'm Cassia. And I'm Aaliyah. And we're here to show you how taking your photography to the next level using simple colour theory is as easy as... One, two, three. Hello. Now before we go ahead and get creative with colour, we need to discuss some basic colour principles and terms that we're going to be using throughout all of our shoots today. I present to you therefore a colour wheel expertly designed by my children last night. It's an RY B colour wheel and RYB refers to the primary colours that make up this colour wheel, the reds, the yellows and the blues. In between those colours we have our secondary colours, the orange, the greens and the purples and it's these colours that we're going to be using in combination with each other to form both of our colour theories photographically today. The hue refers to well, what colour a thing is, whether that thing is a red thing or whether that thing is a green thing. And the saturation refers to how much intensity of hue there is within a certain object. So the first colour scheme we're going to be using today is monochromatic and it's a very, very simple but bold choice for a photographer to make to convey a story through imagery. It doesn't necessarily mean just shooting in black and white. It can mean picking a single hue from the colour wheel and shooting strictly within that hue using different shades, different tints and different tones to create a beautiful image. Now, different colours uh, invoke different emotions on the, on the colour wheel. The orange one is a very energetic, very vibrant, very warm colour. Uh, the, 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 the blue, sort of the opposite to that, very cool, very, very calm colour. We're giving a, the game away a little bit here with Cassius. So we're going to be working in green, but how do we produce a green monochromatic image? Well, I've invested in one of these. It's a photographic gel, which is basically a clear piece of plastic uh, of a single hue. We can place this in front of any sort of household lamp, which I've, I've changed the bulb from, from the normal bulb to an LED bulb. It's very important you do that, because otherwise these things get hot, and unfortunately these things melt. If you don't want to place it over the front of your lamp, you can also strap this to the front of your camera lens. So that all of the light that streams through the lens into the back of the camera is coming through in a monochromatic way. Let's start off, get experimenting, see what we can create. I'll do one where we sort of bring the collar across there for that's great. Hold that there, three, two and one. Love it. Now we've set up a bit of a home studio here, so we've got a matted black backdrop on the background so that there's no shining back off of the light from the foreground here, so it's, everything's dropping uh, into darkness. Uh, but the lamp that we're using isn't overly powerful, it's, uh, and it can be quite harsh at times. What we want to do is we want to try and generate a little bit, bit of interest and try to do something just a little bit different using some of our homewares and our homemade items. So what we're going to use is a stencil. It's a stencil we've cut uh, into just any old piece of cardboard uh, and it's going to create a kind of like a Venetian blind effect the closer that we move it towards our subject to generate a dynamic interesting portrait. So let's practice with that and see what we can create. Chin down, 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 so you're looking through, down, 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 there. The position you were was perfect. Turn, turn, turn towards me, there. Is it now? I like the way you turned your head there, that was great. I actually really like that one. Oh, yeah. That's stunning. This is colour scheme number two, a complementary colour scheme where we bring two colours together, one from location and backdrop and one from an element of styling. What a complementary colour scheme, you may ask. Well, let's bring in the colour wheel. Uh, we can see that blue is here on the colour wheel. We need to look at the colour that's directly opposite to create high contrast, as much contrast as possible. And that is the colour orange. So what we've got, we've got Leah in a nice orange jumpsuit. She's going to stand out in high contrast against this blue wall and create dynamic images that grab your attention. So those shots we shot there are quite static. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of movement into the shot. We're going to change our settings to shutter speed priority, allow for a longer shutter speed, and we're going to get Leah to move across the frame to add a little bit of movement, a little bit of dynamic quality to the image. 
Wait there. Uh, that's good. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Beautiful. And there you are. Stunning. It's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Now we've used the natural daylight that's around us to create nice soft light and we haven't actually had to think about the lighting too much but to really make these colours pop we're going to bring in an off-camera flash and we're going to try and shoot something really really cool and something really really different. And now turn your head so you're looking off this way there for me so keep straight on there for me but we're just turning our head so we're facing that way. That's great. And the last colour scheme is colour scheme number three, which is a tri it colour scheme. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the colour wheel and choosing three independent hues on that wheel and drawing an equilateral triangle between them so that they work in harmony and in equal vibrance. The first colour that we're going to be using is green. The second colour that we'll be using is orange. And therefore, if we bring on the colour wheel, we can see from green to orange, our third colour will be purple and we'll be incorporating purple by using these coloured gels. Okay, here we go guys, are we ready? <laughs> I meant pose, sorry. <laughs> That's good. That's enough, that's good. And having a right old laugh with each other, look at each other, go. There you go, the one, two, three of colour theory. You can try it yourself and find out just how easy it is.